And then we fell to the ground and uh, he was trying to shoot me. I wrestled with her hand and I think I broke her finger. A man and his 77-year-old mother fight for their life, even shooting at three people who tried to rob their Conroe jewelry stores. It turns out they turned the table on the crooks, leaving the bad guys running for the door. Good evening, I'm Bill Baessa. Hello, I'm Dominique Soxa. We thank you for joining us. Local 2's Nefertiti Jacquez joins us live tonight. Nef, this sounds like these suspects really picked the wrong store. They definitely did because these two are brave, and especially the son who stopped at nothing to try to protect his mom. In fact, he chased these suspects out of his store here as they were shooting at him and then ran across the parking lot trying to catch these guys. Oh, his attempt to shoot me failed. His attempt to shoot my mother failed. Mitch Wilkins recalls the moment two men and a woman walked into his jewelry store pretending to be customers before they pistol whipped him and put a gun to his mother's head. The married father broke down into tears at the thought of almost losing his mom, Shirley. <sighs> I mean, it hurt you. That's oh, okay. It was around 10.30 in the morning when the suspects walked into the family-owned business. One guy asked Mitch if he could help him clean a ring. The other two asked Shirley for her help in picking something out. Seconds later, the victims say the two men pulled out guns. And he had vaulted over this case, and, and when I turned around, he had a pistol in my face. There was a gun to my face saying, I'll shoot, I'll shoot. Shirley was worried for her only son. Mitch was terrified they'd kill his 77-year-old mother. Both victims fought back. And then we fell to the ground, and uh, he was trying to shoot me. Mitch says he wrestled the gun away from the suspect who cornered him, and when the gun fell to the ground, Shirley says she picked it up and tossed it to her son. Gun. My mother picks up this gun that's actually theirs, I mean, I returned fire. An all-out shootout ensued as the suspects fired back as they bolted out of the front door. Bullets ricocheted walls and pierced cases. Shortly after, officers arrived and spotted two of the three suspects. They were immediately arrested and hauled off. And now Shirley is glad that she and her son are okay. And Mitch says he had no problem dying in order to save his mom. You, you have to protect yourself. Now, as you saw, Mitch has a couple of spit stitches on his head, rather, but he's expected to be okay. As for the store, you see the sign here. It is closed for today as they continue to try to clean up the mess inside, but they will be back open and running tomorrow. We're in Conroe. Nefertiti Jacquez, KPRC Local 2. Thanks, Nefertiti. The third suspect is still on the run. He's described as a Hispanic man in his 30s, average build, average height. He was last seen wearing a white shirt and khaki shorts.